Get over here! So, this is a little unprecedented. <laughs> so, welcome everyone to the first episode of Let's Play ARMS. So, this has a little bit of a story to it. Uh, meanwhile, Max Brass and Dr. Corey look at us menacingly. Um, let's get into the menu here. So, um, thank, you for, thank you everyone first of all for joining me. And second of all, you might be wondering, what the heck Oscar, why are you playing ARMS all of a sudden? Well. If I'm going to be 100% honest, two reasons. One, because of what's been going on with COVID-19 and everything, and, you know, for the sake of being safe and responsible, Comic Foil and I aren't really able to meet up. We originally had another Let's Play planned. You, like a lot of you guys might already know it, we were planning on playing through um, a new Fire Emblem Let's Play. But because we are practicing social distancing and making sure that everyone is safe, including ourselves, we decided to postpone that Let's Play until we can safely meet up again. So, the second reason that I'm playing ARMS is because of that Smash announcement. This was a while ago, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have forgotten it by now, but not really. But yeah, um, Nintendo announced a, an ARMS character for Super Smash Bros. come next month, I believe. So, as a bit of a way to celebrate, the fact that, you know, arm an ARMS representative is going to be entering the Smash the Smash Brothers scene, I decided to do a sort of like, you know, casual playthrough of ARMS. Particularly, I'm going to be going through the arcade mode of this game. Um, gotta just gotta remember how to go about this, because this game's control scheme is a little unique compared to most other fighters. But, uh, yeah, here we go. If we go to the Grand Prix, we have all of this selection of characters here. As you can tell, I did a little bit of practice. It's been a while since I played this game, but I did a little practice with Twintel. Um, I went ahead and uh, completed her uh, her arcade because Twintel is actually my main character. I'm actually going to save her last because I got a little special bit of a special plan with uh, Twintel. But we're going to go through every single one of the characters in this playthrough. Every episode is going to feature a different character, and uh, I'm basically just going to be going through the arcade mode with their default weapon. Uh, uh, weapon selection. So yeah, for this episode, we're gonna be going as Springman. Let's do it. Um. Okay. So this game has a little bit of a special uh, difficulty setting to it. Now, it goes from easy to medium uh, to hard with uh, four, five, six, and seven. Um. I'm not gonna be doing six or seven because those get really, really hard. Honestly, I think I'm going to put myself to at least a semi-respectable test by going through all of the arcade modes at level 5 because eh, not gonna lie guys I'm out of practice with this game and to be honest I was never really that good at it to begin with so yeah um it's just gonna be a casual playthrough just like you know my thoughts on the game overall this first of all this game soundtrack is banging but um no nah, it's just gonna be a simple playthrough again this was unprecedented like this I just decided you know what would be fun a playthrough of arms because you know Smash Brothers Celebration, and John and I can't meet up. So, uh, Comic Foil. Here we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna be using everyone's base, uh, uh, weapon set, like the arm sets. And yeah, Springman is actually one of my main characters, too. So, I'm decent with him, particularly because he's the Ryu of this game. Live from Spring Stadium, the vigor, the bounce, the excitement of the ARMS Grand Prix is upon us. And who else would be here to share in this action-packed event but your buddy Biff. Excitement's building as everyone waits to see the famous spring man spring into action. He's the epitome of smooth. In fact, I've never seen one strand of this pompadour fall out of place. Uh, more to the point, the bouncer is determined to take down the legendary champion Max Brass. Will he do it? Can he do it? Stay tuned. The arms Grand Prix begins in a minute now. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to say right now, this game has style. All right, so starting off with Kid Cobra. Match one, let's bounce. It's Spring Man versus the Speed Demon Kid Cobra. Years of snakeboarding have honed his leg strength. Can he jump sideways better than any? He can jump sideways better than any other fighter. He may be a spring chicken, but your Spring Man, yada yada yada. I missed all that. You guys already read it anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the toasters. Honestly, I like the base uh, moves. 
Oh, jeez. I gotta remind myself on how to play this game. Um. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. Um. Okay, I gotta remember how to play this game, dang it. Ah! Okay, that's the block. Good. I got my work cut out for me if this is how we're starting. Goodness. Alrighty. Ooh, I knocked him out of it. Sweet. Nuts. Okay, I can't get too crazy with these first levels. They're not that hard, as I'm getting my butt kicked. Mm. Okay, I am not starting out great at all. Nuts. Okay, that's right. Springman has a springback mechanic. When he's at low health, he gets stronger. Okay, there we go. Goodness gracious, like, we're only at- we're only at five difficulty, it should not be this tough. But, oh well. Caught him out of the air. Oh, I couldn't get a follow-up. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Sure you can! Got him! Okay, I was gonna say, those weren't gonna reach. How did he- how did he miss all that? Not complaining. Got him! Okay, there we go. I'm getting it back now. <laughs> it should not have been that tough. It's only the first stage. Alright, there we go. So, next up. Goodness. Like, it's funny because when I first started playing this game, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And here comes best girl Min Min, at least according to all of Twitter. Match 2, keep it going. It's Spray Man versus the Ramen Bomber Min Min. She can use her legs to defend herself. Her kicks are as spicy as her personality. If your attacks get kicked, don't panic. Spring back and counterattack. Yeah, that's another thing that I actually appreciated about this game. This, like, it has a lot of real... It does do a decent job at... Oh, snap. Yeah, that's right. There's that uh, counter mechanic that she has. And her... Uh, the dragon arms are rather unique as well. I gotta remember that she can do that, especially when I have to play as her eventually. There we go. Can she deflect a graph? I'm actually wondering now. Oh, this music is so good! Ooh, nice. Okay. I see you, Min Min. Ah, I didn't block in time. That's fine. Got her! Right before the grab hit. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's, like... When I first started playing this game, like, I... I actually thought it was the coolest thing because it was such a unique concept. Yeah, it didn't last long, unfortunately, but... I don't know. This, this has a bit of a cult following, as far as I'm aware, and... I know a lot of people were upset about, like, you know, Smash Brothers getting an ARMS representative, but at the same time, there were so many people who were so happy about it. I, I was one of those people. I'm very happy to see this game being represented in Smash Brothers. The question is, who is it going to be? Like, me personally, like, the person that would make the most sense is Springman, but Springman has a uh, assist trophy already in the game, so I'm wondering where that's going to play in. Okay, she failed to block that. Good. Mm. Oh, 
Oh no, I didn't I didn't get her. Nuts. Okay. Um definitely the high point of this game, besides like, you know, um the general gameplay is a little laggy. Or is a little like unintuitive, admittedly. It's definitely something that takes a lot of getting used to. I remember this game having at least a place in Evo, actually. Not a stage place, mind you. It was one of the uh, side tournaments. But still, like, I actually like the fact that this game had at least some representation at Evo. I do want to see this game spring back. Quote unquote. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's part of the reason why Nintendo decided to place a character in Smash Brothers. Match 3, moving on. Let's mix it up and play some hoops. Money, money. It's B-Ball with a twist. You gotta throw your opponent into the basket. Dunk or toss him to enclose him for enclose for two points or drain him from behind for three. First to ten points wins. Now get out there and show a little pep in your step. They matched me with the absolute worst character for me to deal with in this situation because as far as I'm con as far as I remember, Master Mummy is actually like the best uh, the best grappler in this game. Oh, come on, really? Oh, no. There we go. Okay, I'm getting it. Oh, no. Okay, I gotta bring this back. Here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? That works. Woof. Got him. All right, there we go. I struggled at first there. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, they definitely are putting a character in Smash Brothers for marketing purposes because I have a feeling that they're going to bring back uh, the uh, ARMS series in some way, shape, or form, either as a sequel or they're going to maybe do some updates to um this game i'm pretty sure it's going to be a sequel because they also had that tournament like that online like tournament feature uh during the time it's spray man versus the silver screen queen twin tail apparently today is the world premiere of a new movie just look at the celebs and media packed in the front of the s of cinema du so right here is my favorite character in the game along with a lot of other people from what i'm to understand I do like uh, I do like what Twintel provides to the roster, um, because uh, she has a she has a she has an aura gimmick. Whenever she's charging, uh, the uh, enemy punches slow down around her. It makes her a rather defensive character, which is interesting. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Gotcha. I gotta remember to use my blocks. Uh, blocks can't do anything against that. Okay, there we go. Mm. Dang it! She... She avoided that. Ah, nuts! She got me there. Goodness gracious. Okay, yeah, I'm going to struggle a little bit at first, but that's kind of how it goes. But anyway, um, going back to the Smash Brothers conversation, um, who do I think is going to be in the is is going to make it to the roster? Um, again, I think Springman makes the most sense, but again, he is in assist trophy, so by that logic, I think maybe. I would like to see a female representative, so either Min Min, Ribbon Girl, or Twintel, in my opinion, would make a great addition to the roster. 
Especially because we haven't had... We don't really have much, like, uh, girl power in the uh, DLC. So far as I'm concerned, the only one is um, Byleth. And even then, that's tentative. Because, you know, she can be either. Or they can be either, I guess. Aw, oh, man, I'm struggling here. Okay, I got her. Ah, I can't do much while I'm in the uh, while I'm shocked like that. I might lose this one. Yep, there we go. Nuts. All right, this is gonna be a bit of a struggle at first, but that's fine. Yeah, you're beautiful, Twintel, but I gotta, I gotta kick you down, punch you down, whatever. All right, let's try this again. I might switch around my arms, um, more so, but I do, I do prefer just using the basic ones, honestly. I don't know why. It's just how I am. That's my playstyle, as it were. That aura is a problem. Hmm. There we go. Beautiful. All right, there we go. Now we get. Now I'm getting it. I'm. I'm starting to learn here. Gotcha. I got some of it. That's fine with me. Ah, she got the whole thing though. I'm still ahead, though. That aura! Goodness! Okay. I gotta find a way to get around that aura. Because that's what's, that's what's giving me issues right now. the car oh man okay twin tail is actually giving me issues goodness gracious oh come on that should have hit her yeah not good Ah, uh, that's the AI for ya, goodness. Okay, okay, I got this, I got this. Hmm. I gotta try not to attack her while she's uh, powered up with the with the aura. There we go. Just focus on bobbing and weaving. There we go. Ah, I tried to catch her. Oh, I got her. Okay. I actually wasn't expecting that to work. Okay, at least I stopped some of it. I'm going to time it out. I'm going to time her out. It's lame, but hey, that's a round. I am not above timeouts. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? I might be able to get around the aura using the boomerang, so let's go with that. Okay, there we go. Yeah. 
Ah. Hi, Allie. Good to see you. Oh, come on. Oh, and she's healing. Okay, there we go. Mm. Damn it. Okay, got her. Oh, can I time her out? Yeah, baby! Okay! Yeah, Twintel is an extremely defensive fighter, so you kind of have to take your time with her. Ugh, but how lame is that? I, I beat Twintel by timing her out both rounds. Uh, oh well. A win's a win. I'll take it. Uh, I just hope this isn't a precedent to later on. Oh, bark and... Bite and bark. Okay. Bite and bark get tricky. Match 5. Halfway there. It's Spring Man versus the Clockwork Cops Bite and Bark. These two fight as a synchronized team, so you gotta work twice as hard to beat them. Stay focused and keep an eye on both of them, Spring Man. You got it, Biff. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and stick with uh, this combination, actually. There we go. Yeah, there we go. If I can get Bark out of the way for a bit, that'll uh, really, really help me. Yeah. Got him. Oh, I think I got him. Beautiful. Okay, get Bark out of the way. Ah, dang it. That, that grab got me. Yeah, as long as I can keep bark down, um, or bite. Yeah, no, no, it's it's a uh, bark. Um, barks the dog, bites the bot. Um, yeah, if I can, if I, as long as I can keep uh, uh, bark down, bite's not that difficult. Wow. There we go. Oh no, I didn't block. It's a little tough to use the block because you gotta use the, uh... Because you gotta use the, uh, you gotta use the, uh, joystick and tap it down. There we go. Okay, get you down. There we go. What I've always wondered, however, is why is Bark and Bites, uh... Why are Bark and Bites, uh, stage on a beach of all things? Not that I'm complaining, I like beaches. There we go. Okay, get you out of the way. Hmm. Uh, I didn't block in time. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Got him! There we go. Alright, yeah, that was a lot easier than Twintel was.
Yeah, that's the thing with Bark and Bite, and that's, uh, and that's, uh, what I'm gonna have to look out for when I eventually play as them. A lot of what makes Bite really strong is keeping Bark alive. Um, if you can do that, then they can't really do much against you. Oh, Mechanica. I always have trouble against Mechanica. Let's change it up and play some V-Ball. The rules are simple. Hit the ball over the net. Oh, and the ball will explode after a bit, so watch out for that. <laughs> Thank you, Biff. First of five points wins. Now get out there and show some hustle. Okay, you know what? I lucked out here because, like, in a straight fight, I have issues with uh, Mechanica. But if this is just V-Ball, I can handle V-Ball. Alright. Starting off strong. Good. Oof. And... Got her. Alright, awesome. Gotta watch out for that timer. Anyone else uh, play volleyball when they were a kid? Or like in high school? I remember playing volleyball uh, when, I was in, uh, when I was in youth group as a kid. And I always loved it. Okay, spike it now! Oh, Jesus! I think I might be good because of the timer. Good! Got it! Alright! Not bad. I was actually a big sports kid uh, when I was in high school, and honestly, throughout all my childhood, I was a sports kid. I always played soccer, I loved playing baseball, volleyball was also a really good one. I freaking love the hell out of dodgeball. Alright, Ninjara's next. Match 7, getting close. It's Springman versus the student of stealth, Ninjara. Ninja college students scale these giant steps each day to get to class. No wonder Ninjara's legs are so buff. I can see the logic in that, actually. Um, hmm. Let's go with the base for now. Okay, the trick with Ninjara is that uh, his dash turns him invisible like that. So he can get really tricky to deal with if you're not careful. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think he can act immediately after a dash too, and that's what makes him so good. There we go, got him. Ninjara is definitely one of the cooler characters in this game, that's for sure. By virtue of the fact that he is a ninja. Okay, can I set up the bomb? Oh, no I can't, I'm getting out of here. I avoided some of it, but I still took a good amount of damage. Mm. Oh no! Is that enough? No, it's not. No, it's not. Got him! Okay, that was close, that was close. Good stuff, Ninjara. All right, all right, all right, here we go. Ouch. Okay. Oh, wow, I hit him. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, he's using, tr he's using double tribal. That's fine. Oh, I was hoping that would combo. Awesome, awesome. Oof. 
Oh no, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Mm. All right, this is getting good. Okay, Ninjara's learning. Goodness gracious. I mean, I know he's not really, but you know. I like to think he is. No, he's probably is. Ouch. Okay, that got fast pace at the end. Goodness. Not bad, Ninjara. All right, round three, round three. Hmm. I may actually benefit from switching to the boomerang. Let's do it. Ah, I tried to block in time. I might be able to bring this back by giving a big by getting him getting a full combo on him, but again, that's gonna take some effort. There we go. I think I got him. I got him. Not bad, not bad. Mmm. Yeah, can he act immediately after a uh, dash like that? Because if that's the case, that's really good. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this game. Ah, no, I made another attack. Okay, I might be able to bring this back. I might be able to bring this back. I got full meter. Oh, I comboed that. Okay. I hit him a little bit, at least. Keep my distance. Let's see if I can get him with the boomerang. Oh, he's approaching me! Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was bobbing and weaving around all my attacks. Not bad, Ninjara. All right, let's try that again. Ouch. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with the boom. I, I actually might just keep with this combination like, throughout the rest of the playthrough, because it's working. I'm pretty sure I'm also getting comments, like, as people are watching this, saying, like, Dude, you're playing this wrong! You're supposed to be doing this or doing that! Probably, guys, but I'm just playing casually, alright? <laughs> Gotcha. Uh, I didn't get a full combo there, but that's fine. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> How did he avoid that? Nuts. Ah, uh, you know what? I should have just blocked. I should have really just blocked. Oh man, can I bring this back and time him out? Oh, he has less health than me. I'm gonna back off. He has to approach me. He has to approach me. Got him. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, like I said, I am not above a timeout. All right, there we go. couldn't block in time. I might be jumping a little too much, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Ah, 
I am forcing him to approach me. Whoa! Okay. Ah, couldn't get that attack out in time. Wow, he avoided all of that. Not bad. I don't know who's ahead. Oh, wow, I was. Okay. That was a little bit of a gamble, but I got it. All right, next up. All right, Helix. Match eight, the tension builds. It's Spring Man versus the Man of Mystery, Helix. No one's quite sure what he's made of, but he sure knows how to fight. And don't worry if some of his goo gets in your eyes. We're pretty sure it's not toxic. Uh-huh, that's not exactly... Th that's not exactly confidence-inducing. Okay, I know Helix has the ability to morph his body to uh, avoid punches, so that's what I'm gonna have to kind of look out for. Hmm, Ice Dragon, okay. Gotta use these pillars to my advantage. Yeah, like that. Yeah, the boomerang's really good on this stage. Mmm. Come on. Gotcha. I might go double boomerang for this fight if I don't uh, go into the uh, next round. Nuts! Did he just stop blocking? I'm not complaining, mind you. There we go. Yeah, honestly, the way this fight is going, I might just go double boomerang. I'm definitely hitting him consistently with it. Careful. Alright, I'm timing him out. Or not. Could I get a finishing blow? Alright, time. Alright, I am playing extremely lame with Spring Man, but that's just kind of my style. I'm a very defensive guy. I'm going double boomerang for this fight. Like that. Oof. Okay, okay, good. Hmm. You are vulnerable, sir! Okay, the problem with the boomerang is that I kind of have to stay- keep my distance in order to- in order for it to be effective. Ah, nuts. Oh, nuts. Okay, that was bad. Mm. Okay, good. There we go. Yeah, I gotta remember to charge up the arms. Okay, he's catching me with that ice dragon. There we go, there we go. Okay, just a little more, just a little more. I'm gonna wait for him to use that ice dragon attack. Or not. <laughs> you can just not attack, dude. I'm fine with that. I will take you down. Beautiful. Did he just say impossible? Alright, Spring Man. I believe this leads us into the final fight, I think. Semi-final, okay. Oh, Ribbon Girl. Okay. Another one of my mains. 
It's Spring Man versus the Eris Ribbon Girl. Just look at how many Ribbon Girl super fans are packed in here. Matches don't get more away than this. Can Spring Man handle being the underdog? All right, so yeah, we got a basic, uh, we got a Chun Li versus Ryu scenario here. Let's do it. One of my favorite tracks, by the way. I love Ribbon Girl's theme. Mm. Yeah, that's another thing. Ribbon Girl has four jumps. She is one of the most mobile characters in the game. Gotcha. Oof. Gotcha. All right, here we go. Mm, that hurt. Yeah, that this is why I like the toasters because they have like when when you use your super, it's very it's very direct. Oh man, that was that enough? No, it's not. Okay. She might have messed up her combo a bit. Okay, comeback mechanic. Here we go. Ooh, gotcha! Okay, that was getting dangerous. Yeah, that's the main. That's one of the things, by the way, that would dis that would bother me a bit about like what how they're gonna balance Ribbon Girl if she makes it into Smash Brothers. She has four jumps in this game. How exactly would they? Uh, how exactly are they gonna go about that in uh, in um, in Smash Brothers while also balancing out how she's able to have such super long reach? But I kind of trust I kind of trust the Smash developers to kind of know what they're doing, so I'm not gonna be one to, uh, you know, say what how they should and shouldn't do something. But again, that's just ouch. That's just me. Okay, there we go. I just realized she's also using her uh, base uh, her base uh, fists, so uh, her base arms, I guess. So. This is a this is a very uh, even match right here. Ooh, not bad. Okay. This is this is what I like about this game because you get tense moments like this. Oh man, that was good. All right, Ribbon Girl. Sure you can. Yeah. All right, not bad at all. All right, final battle time. Here we go. Max Brass, the Comish. The Arms Grand Prix Grand Final is finally here. Listen to that crowd, the fans are fired up! It's Spring Man versus the Kamish, Max Brass. He's the head of the Arms League and the organizer of this very tournament. Spring Man's been dreaming of his shot at the champ for so long, and here it is! Bounce bounce brass and grab glory, Spring Man! Alright, here we go. Um, let's start with the toasters for now. Okay, yeah, I remember Max Brass has a toughen up feature. So far, this fight's in my favor. I say that as I get punched. Oh yeah, those hammers have a lot of have a lot of power behind them. That's right, when he's powered up like that, he gets super armor. Okay, there we go. If I can keep him outside of the arena, I can kind of wait him out a bit. Mm. Tides have turned! Uh-oh. Okay, use a meter to get him out of there while healing up myself a bit. Awesome. Awesome. 
Got him. Yeah, grabbing Max Brass is the best way to get around a super armor. Awesome, awesome. So far, so good. Let's stick with the toasters. Mm. That got him. All right, cool. Ah, no, that's going to hurt. Mm. I don't want to use my meter until I see an opening. Really love this music, too. Okay, good, good, good. Keep him out of the ring. Mm. Ah, I couldn't catch him. Okay. Oh, no, he got me. But I made him waste his meter. Then again, I think meter resets every round, so that might not matter at all. I might just not be paying attention. All right. Let's keep it up. Oh, he's using his base ones, too. All right, let's do this. Excellent, excellent, here we go. Oh, jeez. Mm. Good, 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 good. There we go, got him. Okay, wait for an opening and use my meter. Good, good. Uh, I can at least use some chip damage. Don't want to lose it here. Oh, no! Oh, that hurt. That was like 50% of my health. Oh, he brought this back quick. Got him! Boom! Oh, wow. He brought that back real fast. Yeah, baby. I think that might be it. Can it be? Has someone finally taken down the ma the Max Brass? Uh-oh. Up in the sky. What is that thing? It's clumped on Max's head. Gobbish. Somebody help him. That's right. We got to fight Headlock now. Uh-oh, I think this guy's looking for a fight! Who's gonna take care of this creep? Alright, so we're not quite done here yet. Time to fight Headlock. What a turn of events! Victory was all but assured, but now there's a party crasher to deal with! Indescribable is the only way I can describe what just happened. We're in for something special. Let's go, Springman. Bounce this bad boy and the championship belt is yours. All right, now then. I cannot be complacent with this guy. I believe against Headlock, the timer's infinite. Yeah, I can't time this guy out. I have to fight him. Or I have to beat him. Yeah, he's got six arms. Jeez. Mm. I gotta remember that with the toaster, there's that little fire explosion I can utilize. Alright, get you out of here. Good, 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 good. Mm. Yeah, I can't bur I can't bust through his arms because he has six of them, so my arms are just gonna get snuffed out like that. Oh no, you don't. Mm. 
Beautiful. Charge up. Ah, man, he got past that one. All right. Yeah, he has a comeback mechanic, just like Bra just like Max Brass does. <clears throat> oh no, he's healing. <clears throat> ah, I broke through my shield. Yeah, Headlock has that fireball that is super powerful. Honestly, the best way to deal with it is to dodge it, but I I kind of panicked. I, I felt like I did, wasn't going to dodge in time. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, I think that's going to get him. No, it's not, but I can at least punch him. Mm. Gotcha! Dude, this music is sick. Yeah, there, that's one thing that no one can deny about the uh, ARMS games. Or the ARMS game, I guess. The music is sick. Like, I love the soundtrack of this game. Ah, I couldn't punch through it. Oh no, I think that's gonna kill me. Yep. Damn. Okay, this is gonna take a few attempts. Headlock is not easy. Okay. Goodness gracious, he's just filling the screen. He's going nuts. Mm. Oh no, I think that's gonna kill me anyway. Yeah, nuts. Avoiding? Ooh, ah, ha, ha. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, this is what I was expecting, honestly. Alright, come on, come on, Spring Man, you got this. Ugh. Gotcha! Alright, that's a grab. Is he not grabbable when he's uh when he's uh, super armored? Because I'm noticing my grabs just kind of phase through him whenever he's in that state. All right, grab some meter, get you out of here. Good, charge up. Hmm. Hmm. Get some health. Yeah, baby! There we go! Caught him on the dash! Alright, alright. That's a round. That's a round. Do not get... Okay. Come on, Scorpion. Do not get stingy with my meter. Use it. Health, but not can't be helped, unfortunately. I gotta I gotta get some distance. Okay, he's gonna use that he's gonna use that super soon. Uh, got a block! Good, good. I might be able to win this round still with a with a full meter. I think I got him. Oh no, he fell out of it. Got him. 
good old faithful boomerang, baby. Whew. Oh man, that took a while. Way to go, Spring Man. Yes, that creep is down for the count. Hold on, I've just received some intel. During a routine experiment at Arms Laboratories, there was an unexpe- What? Uh? That light, it's everywhere. Is Max gonna be okay? Huh? Whoa! It's gone. What was that thing? Where did it come from? And will it be back? I wonder. Think I'd look good in a mask? I kind of... I've been kind of in a rut lately. But never mind that, how's Max doing? Why was I even worried? Look at that brass beast! That's our comment. She's flexing like nothing happened! <laughs> anyway, now that that's over, let's get back to our regularly scheduled programming. I love the fact that Max Brass is still considered like a hero to these guys. Look alive, people. The award ceremony is about to begin. Let's take a look at the final results. And there we go, everybody. Now that's a score worth celebrating. Could a new arms legend be in our midst? Love this credits theme, by the way. Get ready to go crazy. The winner of the arms Grand Prix and your new grand champion, the bouncer Spring Man. He sprang to the top and bounced the champ. Congratulations! As another Arms Grand Prix draws to a close, I'd like to thank all the competitors and the fans at home. See you next time, folks! And on that note, I'm going to follow suit by saying thank you guys for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Arms featuring Spring Man. So yeah, that's basically what's going to be the deal throughout this entire playthrough. We're going to go through with every single character. Um, as the credits roll. I'm, I'm not going to wait until the credits are done because this episode is long enough as is. It took me a while. But yeah, we're going to be going through the game with every single character at uh, basically 5 difficulty. Maybe given certain situations I might go higher, but at this point, I'm satisfied just going with 5 difficulty and taking down Max Brass and Headlock. So, thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave your, uh, leave your opinions and comments uh, down below. Let me know if you guys like this. Seriously. Um, and go ahead and give us, our, give us your predictions on who the Smash rapper is going to be. Because I'm honestly curious. And personally, I'm hoping it's Twintel. Springman would make the most sense. But Ribbon Girl and Min Min, I think, are also high competitors here. But on that note, um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Next time, we're going to be taking on the we're going to be taking on arcade mode with Ribbon Girl. See you guys then.